Today I'm going to show you how to do a few different things with pictures on the Chromebook. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do a screenshot. So right now I have my Adobe Spark video opened in one tab along the top and then right beside it I have another tab open which is my Google search. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of what is on this page. What I can do is press the control, shift, and the square with the two lines beside it right above the number six. Once I do that, then I can draw a square or rectangle around a certain area of the screen. So now I have that selected and drawn. Now it tells me that my screenshot is taken. So I've taken my screenshot. So now what I can do is put that inside my Adobe Spark video. So I'm gonna go back to my other tab up at the top. Now I'm on Adobe Spark. I'm just gonna add in a new page. And on this page, I'm going to have it just one photo. So I'm just going to click on the photo button. Now over here on the right, I'm going to click on upload photo. Now this brings up your Google Drive as well as it brings up your downloads. So in your downloads is where your screenshot goes to. So I'm gonna, just gonna choose my screenshot I just took and I'm going to press open. Now this is going to put my screenshot in here. Now I didn't do a very good screenshot so I'm going to actually click on my picture and press zoom. Now when I zoom in, I can move my picture around. So I'm going to zoom in again and move it around and it kind of kind of crops it a little bit. There. So that's how I want it. So that is taking a screenshot with the Chromebook. Control shift and then the square with the two lines beside it all at the same time. And then you draw the shape around whatever you want to screenshot. The next thing I want to show you is the camera app. So down at the bottom, you, you might have this shelf always showing up at the bottom and you might not. So you might have to scroll and then it will pop up. And then you click on the little magnifying glass. That's the launcher. The other way you can do it is on the keyboard, right in between the tab and the shift key. There's a little magnifying glass. Either way, what it will do is it will launch a Google search as well as it will launch all of your apps. So if you do not see the camera app like I do right away, then click on all apps and look for the blue circle with the camera. Now you click on the camera and it will let you take a screenshot. So now let's say I want to take a picture of my book. I could hold my book up. And now some students might want to get in the book, in the picture to show that they are doing this. So I'm going to hold it up here and I'm going to click on the camera. And now I have my picture. Notice that my picture slid over here into the corner, into the go to gallery. So we have to click on go to gallery. Now we choose the picture we want and we have to save it into the downloads. It does not save your pictures into your downloads right away. And if you don't do this, then it's not accessible. So we click on it and then down in the bottom right corner, there's a little white square with an arrow and it says save to disk. So we click on that. Now if we want, we can choose where we want to save it to. If you want to file these in your drive and create folders, you sure can. Or you can save it to your downloads. You also can create new folders. You can rename it. Now make sure that if you rename it, you keep it as .jpg. That means that it's a picture file. So when you have it where you want it and you have it named where you, what you want, then you just press save and then you can close out of the camera app. Now, since I am using that picture 
for my project, what I need to do is I'm on my Adobe Spark and I need to get another new page. So I click on new. And this time I want to change my layout to two things. And then on the one thing, I'm going to add a photo. I go over here to the right and upload the photo. I find it, I saved it in my download, so I find the picture that I want and I press open. So that is how you take pictures using the camera app. The final thing that I'm gonna show you for pictures that will be useful with Adobe Spark is saving the picture. Now, if you watched my other video, then you've already seen how to do this. So again, we go up to the top, we have our tabs. I'm gonna go back to Hot Rod Hamster. Now, let's say I want this picture here. I use two fingers on the touchpad and I click on that picture. Now I click on Save Image. This will automatically save my image into the downloads. Again, if I want to put it somewhere in my drive and create a new folder, I can. If I want to rename it, I can. But you have to keep the .jpg on there. Then we press Save. We can go back to our Adobe Spark. And over here on the right, we can upload the photo find it in our downloads, and press open. Now, since I saved that picture and the other one I did a screenshot of, I have to make sure that I cite my sources. Oops, I put it over top of my other picture. But I actually don't care. I'm gonna change my layout to just one picture because that makes more sense. The picture I took didn't make sense. So when you're done, then you can preview it and you can save it. If you need all the help with saving, I have another video on how to save.